What's up guys, it's your boy Fonte Cabrera on the video and this one guys I'm going to be comparing iOS 12 beta 1 on iPhone 6 to iOS 7.3.3 guys so I'm super excited to see the results because as I said 50% better performance on iOS 11 so let's see if that's true. Stay tuned guys. Alright guys, can I put up both devices here? I'm super excited, this is iOS 12, this is iOS 10.3.3 of course 12, 12 beta 1 guys. So the very first beta shouldn't be perfect but of course it won't. So let's see if booting up times be faster on iOS 12. I mean, I saw another video of, uh, on YouTube where iOS 12 was slower when booting up on I iPhone 8, I think. So, uh, not really. Oh, yeah, there's a difference. Wow. Now, actually, iOS 12 beta 1 is taking too long. I see there is some difference there, guys. Okay, now jumping into the phones immediately. Okay, iOS 12 was smooth. Though, guys, this is iOS 12. I'm just gonna show you. I don't know why the wallpaper didn't change. Though, just if you check here and about, that's iOS 12 there. I'm just gonna change the wallpaper to the one that actually comes with iOS 12. Okay, that's kind of slow there. Yeah, this is the one. And done. Right guys, so both here have nothing in the background, so let's just start here with calendar. It was actually faster than iOS 10. Photos, faster than iOS 10. Camera, about the same. Maps, um, both are slow. Okay, that was interdependent. iOS 12 was faster loading clock, faster than iOS 10. Weather faster than iOS 12. All right, guys, now for stocks, the newer look, new design here. Okay, case so the newer stock app is actually slow. I expected that to be honest. Leaving, going for phone dialer, identical, going for Safari. Just load something here, Apple.com. Scrolling down and up. Going for like TV. Okay, that, uh, that was faster than iOS 12. Leaving, going for messages. Okay, that was, I think, uh, identical going for App Store. So App Store still looks the same. So just like iOS 11, so no change in the UI. And no, iOS 10 was faster. Now guys, for some third-party apps here. I think I saw some stutter there, noticed some stutter while going to the next page, so not that good going for Geekbench 4. Wow, that was faster than iOS 12. To be honest guys, iOS 11 was always behind when it comes to Geekbench, so into the benchmark. Maybe that's good stuff there, maybe they actually improved the phones. Hope guys, okay, that was faster than iOS 10. Going for Facebook. No, the, definitely iOS 10, though the difference, guys, is like small. I mean, iOS 11 was worse. Google Earth here. Okay, there is a difference, but iOS 12 is really good. Of course, guys, it's the very, very first beta here, so that's something. So, yep. Mm -hmm. So, iOS. No, that's not a bad at all, guys. iOS 12 did catch up at the very end, so YouTube. Uh, wow, iOS, iOS, good stuff there. iOS 12 was actually faster, guys. Instagram. Okay, iOS, the difference was minimal. Both ones were good. iOS 10 was better. Leaving was faster than iOS 12. Now guys, for some games, so first up, Subway Surfers. So till now guys, it seems like iOS 12 did really improve over iOS 11. Especially that's the very first beta, so that's something too. Loading bar appeared first on iOS 10. The yeah, iOS 12 would take too long. Okay, some apps may still not be optimized for iOS 12, so. They shouldn't be, to be honest. Now, guys, going for Mario Run. Some hesitation there on iOS 10, launching Mario Run. 
Let's see which one is better here. And from the looks of it, iOS 10 is faster. Yep. Mm, of course, iOS 10 here for the win. And iOS 12 was behind Temperan 2. You guys, of course, that's the very last uh, version of iOS 10. So 10.3.3. So it's the most stable iOS 10 version. Just saying, this is the very first beta of iOS 12. Can I redo this, guys, because of what popped up here? So redoing Temperan 2. Okay, definitely iOS 10 is faster. Leaving, going for eBay. Again, some hesitation there on iOS 10. Though at the end it's loading. Okay, so eBay was fast on both devices. Okay, it was faster on iOS 12, good stuff there. I do remember guys when I used to use an iPhone 6 with iOS 10, it used to be slower than that. So yeah, it had more stuff. Of course, this phone's empty, these phones, I mean, Almost nothing in them, but yeah, iOS 12 seems good till now. Now guys, for some RAM management, so calendar, had to refresh on iOS 12, bad start here, but really bad start guys. iOS 10, iOS 10 kept it in the memory. So photos. Ah, so iOS 12 didn't refresh photos, that's good. Going for camera. I'm not sure about this one, camera is always hard to tell. So maps. Both have to refresh. Of course, guys, when it comes to RAM management, it won't be better than iOS 10, though I'm hoping it's gonna be like iOS 10 exactly, because iOS 11 was really bad with RAM management. Though, it seems like iOS 10 is still better with RAM. Weather, stocks. Okay, so iOS 12 is not that bad. Weather, um, I mean, <laughs> thingy, <laughs> phone dialer. Then refresh on both, so it was good. Safari. Wow, Safari had to refresh on iOS 10, that's big here, iOS 12 actually kept it in the background. Good stuff here, finally something, iOS 12. So iOS 12 seems better in RAM management than iOS 11. Messages, had to refresh on both devices. App Store, wow guys, App Store didn't refresh on iOS 12, it refreshed on iOS 10. Great, great guys, really happy here. Geekbench 4, wow, so both phones kept Geekbench 4. Definitely guys, when it comes to RAM management, uh, I've never seen any iOS 10 ver 11 version doing that on iPhone 6 to the benchmark. So this app always refreshes, even on iPhone 10, for example, so it's okay. Facebook. Wow guys, Facebook uh, was kept in the memory on iOS 12, it had to refresh on iOS 10. Really happy what I'm seeing here, Google Earth. Okay, both had to refresh. Yelp. Wow, wow, amazing guys. iOS 12, I'm really surprised here. I mean, it feels like they added extra RAM to the phone. YouTube. Wow, YouTube was kept in the background here on iOS 12. iOS 10 had to refresh, guys. That never happened before with iOS 11, for example. So definitely better multitasking here. So Instagram. Wow, guys, so Instagram as well, had to refresh on 10, and it was kept in the background on iOS 12, so good stuff there, guys. So now with iOS 12, you get, okay, both at the refresh, you get your RAM back, basically. What iOS 11 did, the, the bad year we were suffering from, especially for iPhone 6 users, iPhone 5S, they will get this here back, guys. I mean, now we're back to iOS 10 performance, even better than iOS 10 performance with uh, the current software. Temper on 2, to add refresh on both devices. The iOS 12 is faster to show you guys it's actually refreshing, iOS 10 takes some time. eBay, both kept eBay in the background. So definitely iOS 12 wins here. At the beginning it seemed like iOS 10 was better with RAM management, but no, iOS 12 was way better guys, especially with third-party apps. Now guys for a Geekbench 4 test to see if anything's changed here with scores, so as you can see, same device, iOS 12, iOS 10.3.3, so CPU, and just from benchmark. All right, guys, and they're done. So single core score is about is the same, guys. I mean, there's no difference almost, though multi-core score is better definitely than iOS 12. 
So that's that's good stuff to see here. I'm gonna show you previous code with iOS with iOS 10 guys, iOS 11, sorry. So that's the previous test. So as you can see, the scores were lower definitely. Now it improved on iOS 12. Now guys, finally for uh, and to the benchmark test. And to the benchmark actually was fa launched faster on iOS 12. So these are previous scores, iOS 7.4 and iOS 10.3.3. So test again here. It's more of a battery test guys. All right, guys, here you have the scores. So CPU is better on iOS 12, GPU better on iOS 10, UX about the same. Let's check the RAM here. Well, for some reason, memory here was way lower. RAM is about the same, or is lower, though they're both 16 gig devices. UX, let me check the scores. So data security is better here, more secure, even though it's a beta. User experience, yeah, higher than iOS 10. GPU, we can check the scores here as well as CPU. All right, guys, so that was a comparison. I wanna say that I'm really surprised with the results, especially with RAM management, guys. iOS 12 is better in uh, keeping apps in the memory than iOS 10, so that's amazing. Ram, I was really surprised with RAM. Performance is really good, definitely better than iOS 11, guys. And taking into consideration, that's the very first beta. So for, for the first beta, that's an amazing result. Plus guys, battery, both phones lost 13%, iPhone 6 on iOS 10 was on 100%, dropped all the way to 87, the other one was iOS 12 was on 95%, was on 95%, dropped to 82 guys. Then guys, it didn't really continue recording immediately after two benchmarks, so both phones apparently lost some extra juice. So the test officially ended at 82% iPhone 6, iOS 12, and uh, 87 on the other one, so everything afterwards, it, I mean, this one went to 80%, the other one to 84 just because the screen was on and I wasn't testing anything. So both lost 13%, exactly the same, badly lost. So if you guys like the video, subscribe for more content and peace out.